You keeping an eye on the watch, Private? 300 seconds, and not a second to spare. And don't forget, never look directly into the sun. Seconds left. Damn it. Looks like my measuring equipment is broken. No, I'm afraid. I'm afraid it's working perfectly fine. 240 seconds left. We just received news from Antarctica, Machu Picchu, and Eastern Oceania. Their measurements match ours. We're expecting a solar flare similar to the Oswald flare from 2113 within the next two weeks. We all know that the terrestrial magnetic field can't protect us from a flare of the scale anymore. Our time is up. It's not too late yet, Quaddy. We still have a chance. Well, yeah, what about the Phoenix plan? We could escape. The Phoenix plan is not an evacuation plan, Hardy. Quite the opposite. No. Salvador is right. A manipulation is our last chance. What are they talking about? Is the security of our pilots provided for by now? Nigel, we are looking at certain death for every living thing in two weeks. We don't have a choice, I'm afraid. It's time we dare to take the final step. Step back to the past. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Hurricanes, forest fires, melting polar caps, and expanding deserts. Climate change is said to make our planet uninhabitable, but will it be as early as 2050? Today, I welcome the author of the novel, The Phoenix Plan. He has a doctorate in physics, is a special emissary of the EU, and an ambassador for a better world. Welcome, Dr. Leif Ogerson. Good evening, Tom. Life. Your novel ends with a terrible catastrophe. Gonzalo, a militant eco-activist from the future, causes a major nuclear disaster, thereby destroying all of South America. That was the only way to save the world for good, or so he said. Are you serious? Did you just tell the whole world about the fantastic ending of my novel? It is a very cynical ending. <laughs> yes, it is. Seriously. The important question you should ask is this. How can you encourage 7 billion people to act? Two people alone can't save the world. So you want to provoke your readers into action? Do you really think a sci-fi thriller is the right platform? Why wouldn't it be? My God, we live in the 80s. Bullocks. Complete and utter nonsense. What, talk shows? Mr. Tall Tales tells the truth for once, and then claims that he had just made all of it up. It's what they call force of habit, Bent. Some people never change. Bah. Is there any more coffee? Nope. Damn it. How are we supposed to help save the world when we are out of coffee? I'll get some tomorrow. Tomorrow? Tomorrow? In a couple hundred years, Sydney burns, Moscow trembles, and London drowns. We don't have time to dawdle. I need my coffee, and I need it now. Uh, Bent? What? Moscow freezes. Right.